executive of the Cavaliers that set LeBron off in Cleveland. <laughs> this lady. Wow. Well, she's pointing like that one meme with the lady and the cat. <laughs> yeah. Just got kicked out of the game for talking shit to LeBron James. For talking shit to my fucking husband. This is such fucking bullshit. Listen, let me tell you. LeBron James looked at my husband during the game and cussed him out. And I stood up and I go, don't fucking talk to my husband. Talk to my husband one more time and I will fuck you up. And he started fighting with me. He goes, shut your mouth, dumb bitch. And I go, you shut your fucking mouth, bitch. No, at the end of the day, that's, uh, I'm happy fans are back in the building. I miss that interaction. I need that interaction. We as players need that interaction. I don't feel like it was warranted to be kicked out. Um, there was a, 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 you know, a back and forth between two grown men and, and which, uh, uh, and you know, we said our piece, he said his piece, I said my piece. And then when someone else jumped into it and, and, and said their piece, um, but I didn't, I didn't think they were, you know, should have been kicked out. Um, but they might have had a couple of drinks maybe, and they could have probably kept it going, and the game wouldn't have been about the game no more. So I think the referees did what they had to do. Um, and I don't, I mean, it's, it's fine. I don't, I don't think, uh, you know, taking down the mask or whatever the case may be at that point in time, you know, would have harmed anybody but the people that was right next to her. I wasn't close enough to her. I don't think any of my teammates was close enough to them. Uh, maybe a couple of refs, maybe. So I hope they're I hope they're okay, um, but you know, safety first. Dan, hello, Brian. And uh, yeah, you look like you about to ask me. Uh, you look you like you're ready to fire <laughs> off. <laughs> well, it, it's just it, it strikes me. It's you know, as somebody you, you've said all year, like I want fans. I want to uh. see fans. Um, did. Does that get you more excited than when you see some people who are, uh, like you said, a little willing to, to, to kind of tone those waters, whether it was in Cleveland or here, just seeing those faces that, that close to you? Well, I mean, my, well, my guy tonight, he, he uh, you know, he looked, I don't want to say he went overboard, but he went a little bit out of bounds, uh, you know, too close to, to comfort for me. And I said my piece and we could have moved on. Um, but I think it was so close to the officials. I think the official heard it as well, what he has said. Um, and it kind of got blown out of proportion. You know, it's just like sometimes on the floor when two guys get into a scuffle, you know, or, or get into a little like jostling and the refs come and try to break it up really fast and it looks like it's bigger than what it really is. That's what it pretty much was tonight. But um, the difference, we're on the court and we're not having any alcoholic beverages. Um, so they might have had some alcoholic beverages on the side. So that could have, it made them feel a little tougher than what they really are, I would say. Just but like to be clear, you were, you were happy. Perfect. You were happy that this happened, though, right? Like, you enjoyed this. Who, me? Yes. I love our fans. <laughs> Laker Nation and everybody else that's against Laker Nation. It just, it just feels better. Fans in the stands, it's just, it's just better. It's better for everybody. Especially on the last game of a 14-day road trip.